blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. in our midst no nosso meio and do something e fazer algo this morning esta manhã this morning esta manhã i'm trusting eu confio that as the word of god says aquilo que a palavra de deus diz faith come by hearing a fé vem pelo ouvir hearing by the word of god e ouvir a palavra de deus faith come a fé vem when you hear quando você ouve and when you hear the word of god e quando você ouve a palavra sem saudações from the over 55 million Christians in Nigeria. Dos, é, de mais, nós trazemos saudações para vocês dos mais de 50 milhões de cristãos que vivem na Nigéria. From what the pastor told me, pelo que o pastor me falou, this is a conference. Essa é uma é um encontro. And as a conference, e como um encontro, I want to lay foundation this morning. Eu quero realmente estabelecer o fundamento esta manhã the depth of every foundation a profundidade de cada fundamento will determine the height of the building irá determinar a altura de um prédio if the foundation is deep 
Se os fundamentos, os alicerces de um prédio then são the profundos, then the building can be tall. então o prédio pode ser alto. If the building have no foundation, Mas se o prédio não tiver o fundação, não tiver o alicerce, então esse prédio não poderá ser muito alto. Porque se você constrói um edifício num lugar onde não tem um alicerce then muito sólido, the will fall. então esse prédio irá cair. So, então, we bring you greetings. nós trazemos saudações And thank God for giving us opportunity e agradecemos a Deus pela oportunidade to be here with you de estar aqui com vocês as children of God. como filhos de Deus. Eu vou estabelecer alguns fundamentos que eu acredito que se você ouvir In atentamente few years from now, em dois anos, de, a partir de agora, você vai ter a oportunidade vocês terão a oportunidade say, de dizer thank God, obrigado a Deus thank God, obrigado a Deus thank God, obrigado a Deus I have my eu recebi uma, uma fundamento uma, uma is, sólida base it is one of the first thing that my wife and I did. é uma das primeiras coisas que eu e minha esposa fizemos When our ministry was going to start, quando o nosso ministério estava prestes a ser iniciado we spent time nós gastamos tempo to dig the ground para cavar o solo Because we believe, porque nós acreditávamos if we are going to be big in the future, se nós seremos grandes no futuro we have to have a foundation. nós tínhamos que ter uma, um fundamento, uma base That is what we do in all our buildings. e é, é isso que nós estamos fazendo em todos os nossos we prédios sure that we tell the nós é, falamos sempre ao arquiteto Give us big foundation. faça um alicerce bastante grande, bastante profundo so that if in the future, para que se no futuro We want to make the building very tall. Nós quisermos fazer desse do edifício um edifício mais need, alto. We don't need to come from the top to the bottom. Nós não precisamos começar de cima para baixo. We already have good foundation. Nós já temos uma uma base, um fundamento And sólido. And that foundation e aquela base is able to carry high buildings. É suficiente, é capaz de sustentar um prédio alto. If you look at this building we are inside now. Se você olhar a esse edifício, esse You que see how the aqui, government laid good Pilars. Você vê que pilares fortes foram erigidos, foram construídos. These pillars Esses pilares are carrying thousands of tons of iron. Esses pilares estão suportando And toneladas e toneladas de, de aço. The pillars are big. E por isso que os pilares são grandes. The pillars are strong. Os pilares são fortes. The government is not afraid. O governo então não tem medo. To put the heavy steel colocar o aço pesado aqui em cima And na estrutura irons colocar o ferro pesado nas estruturas on top of the pillars. em cima desses pilares They know that the ground is thick. eles sabem que realmente a base é sólida está preparada para isso If we Christians, se nós cristãos we spend time gastarmos tempo to dig our foundation. para realmente construir uma, uma, nossa, uma base sólida dig it realmente cavando profundamente Dig it strong. cavando e construindo uma, um alicerce And bastante sólido strong. fazendo muito sólido esse alicerce Then we can build anything. então nós poderemos construir qualquer coisa Then we will not be afraid. e nós não teremos medo Because the foundation is strong. porque o alicerce e o fundamento é forte That is why we would like to start with foundation. é por isso que essa manhã eu quero falar sobre o fundamento And the, the foundation you can have in the Bible is in the book of Genesis. E o principal, o maior fundamento que você pode ter na sua How vida está no God livro de Gênesis. Himself, God Almighty. Como Deus todo poderoso. He laid a foundation. Ele estabeleceu o um fundamento. For example, in the Bible. Pardon me? In the Bible says in Genesis. Aquilo que está escrito em Gênesis. Genesis, Genesis chapter chapter 1. Gênesis capítulo 1. Turn to your Bible everybody. Todo mundo vamos abrir as nossas Bíblias. Genesis chapter 1. Gênesis capítulo 1. Verse 1. Verso 1. In the beginning. No princípio. God. Deus. In the beginning. No God. No princípio, Deus. Forget about creation now. But just listen to the word. In the beginning. God. Vamos esquecer um pouco da criação agora. Vamos refletir sobre esta frase. No princípio, Deus. Your biggest strength in life will be if your beginning is God. A maior força que vai haver na sua vida é se você começá-la com Deus. 
In the beginning, God. No princípio, Deus. Everybody say that in the beginning. Todo mundo repita comigo. No princípio. God, Deus. In the beginning, no princípio. You have to try to speak English. In the beginning. Vocês têm que tentar falar inglês. In the beginning. God, God. Everybody say that. Todo mundo repita isso. In the beginning. God. Say by yourself. Agora diga vocês sozinhos. In Two times more. Duas vezes mais. Now say it loud. Agora fale mais alto. God. Amen. Amen. If all our beginning is God, se em todos os nossos começos, em tudo aquilo que a gente começar, then, Deus estiver presente, then we will not be afraid of the devil. Então nós não vamos ter medo do diabo. Because the devil was not number one. Porque o diabo não era o número um. The Bible did not say in the beginning God devil, in the beginning God devil, in the beginning God devil, in the beginning God devil. No. A Bíblia não diz no princípio Deus o diabo, no princípio Deus o diabo, no princípio Deus o diabo. Não, a Bíblia não diz isso. In the beginning, God. No princípio, Deus. Because devil is not number one. Porque so o diabo não é o número um. He can become part of creation. Então ele não pode ser parte da criação. Because the beginning doesn't have the devil. Porque no princípio não há o diabo aqui. The beginning have God. No princípio Deus estava presente. So, if you want to talk of future. Então se você quer falar sobre o futuro. Talk of future. Beginning God. Fale sobre o futuro começando com Deus. Beginning God. Início Deus. Any time you hear of the devil. Qualquer oportunidade que você ouvir do diabo. Don't make him big. Não faça dele alguém grande. He's not big. Ele não é grande. He's a creation. Ele é uma criação. Ele foi criado. In the beginning. No princípio God. Deus. Not devil. Não o diabo. Not problem. Não problemas. Not sickness. Não doença. Not disease. Não enfermidade. Not failure. Não fracasso. Not setback. Não, não é retrocesso. Not fear. Não medo. In the beginning. No princípio. Deus. Deus. I like that. Eu gosto disso. I like that. Eu gosto disso. Everything that began began with God. Tudo que começou começou com Deus. That is why. Ida Rosa does not respect the devil. É por isso que Ida Rosa não respeita o diabo. Uh, devil, devil, you are number nothing, number nothing. Diabo, você é número nada, número nada. But when I hear of God, mas quando eu ouço de Deus, Jesus, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Espírito Santo, uh -huh, so be. aí então eu digo sim, esses são grandes. When I hear devil, quando eu ouço falar do diabo, devil, eu falo diabo. Devil, diabo. But when I hear God, mas quando eu ouço Deus, I say, então eu faço. When I hear Jesus, quando eu ouço falar de Jesus, I say, when I hear Holy Spirit, quando eu ouço o Espírito Santo, when I hear devil, I say devil. Quando, quando eu ouço falar do diabo, eu falo diabo. Cadê? Cadê? I don't fear devil. Eu não tenho medo do diabo. Because porque he is not part of the beginning. Porque ele não faz parte do princípio. Ele não estava no princípio. He, he came late. Ele veio depois. He came late. Ele chegou atrasado. He's not part of the foundation. Ele não faz parte do fundamento. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil is not part of the foundation. O diabo não faz parte do fundamento do alicerce. God Deus is number one. É o número um. In the beginning, God. No, no princípio, Deus. Let us try that again. In the beginning. Vamos repetir de novo. In the beginning. God. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says God created the heaven and the earth. A Bíblia diz que Deus criou os céus e a terra. Now if He is the beginning. Agora, se Ele é o princípio. And He is the Creator. E Ele é o Criador. We must, as a new church. Begin to look 
to see the beginner of everything. Então nós precisamos que a igreja possa ver nele o princípio de todas as coisas. Conference must be based on the man who started everything. Então a conferência ou qualquer encontro deve estar baseado naquele que começou todas as coisas. Seminar must be based on God who started everything. Seminários têm que ser fundamentados em Deus que criou todas as coisas. Now God created heaven and earth. E a Bíblia diz que Deus criou os céus e a terra. In the beginning. No princípio. So I, I want to look at God as He is the first to start everything. Então eu quero ver Deus como aquele que iniciou todas as coisas. Foi o primeiro a começar todas as coisas. If he created everything, e se ele criou todas as coisas, he must be wiser than all he created. Se ele criou todas as coisas, então ele deve ser mais sábio de todas as coisas que ele criou. But now he created heaven and earth. Agora ele criou os céus e a terra. He did not need your help or my help. Ele não precisou da sua ajuda ou da minha ajuda. He did all by himself. Ele fez tudo sozinho. A man that is able to create everything, somebody who created heaven and earth, is big enough for me to follow. Um, alguém que é capaz, foi capaz de criar os céus e a terra e tudo que nelas há, é grande o suficiente para eu ser seguidor dele. Now I want you to listen to me carefully. Agora eu quero que você ouça a mim atentamente. In the beginning, God. No princípio, Deus. God created. Deus criou. Heaven and earth. Os céus e a terra. Now the Bible did not say He made heaven like Himself. He made the earth like Himself. A Bíblia não diz que Ele fez os céus como Ele ou fez a terra como Ele próprio. Now, but if you go to verse 28. Mas se você for ao verso 28, now you will see in verse 27. Verso 27. God created man. Está escrito, criou Deus pois o homem. In his own image. A sua imagem. Well, I would I would discuss that. Sua imagem e semelhança. If he made man like himself. E se ele fez o homem como a ele próprio. And man in his own image. E o, a sua própria imagem. That means We have the power to create. Isso significa que nós temos o poder de criar. We have ideas. Nós temos ideias. Because we are the extension of God. Porque nós somos uma extensão de Deus. We are the increase of God. Nós somos o acréscimo de Deus. Big God. Um grande Deus. Small God. Pequeno Deus. Me e da Rosa. Eu e da Rosa. I have a son. Eu tenho um filho. His name is Faith Emmanuel Benson. O nome dele é Faith Emmanuel Benson. He is small e da Rosa. Ele é um pequeno e da Rosa. I am big e da Rosa. Eu sou o grande e da Rosa. God Almighty. Deus todo poderoso. Is big God. É um grande Deus. I am his own small God. Eu sou o seu fi, o seu Deus pequeno. I am not a God, but I'm small. God. Eu não sou um Deus. Mas eu sou um pequeno. I am like my father. Eu sou como meu pai. He, he made me like himself. Ele me fez como ele próprio. Now, verse two says, Agora o verso 2 diz. And, and the earth was without form. A terra porém era sem forma. And void. E vazia. And darkness. Havia trevas. Was upon the face of the deep. Sobre a face do abismo. Now Ezekiel and Isaiah told us how the earth was void and have darkness. Agora Ezequiel, o livro de Ezequiel e de Isaías fala como que a terra veio a ser vazia e sem forma. How can God create heaven and earth and so soon darkness and emptiness? Como que Deus pode criar os céus e a terra e de repente esse vazio e essas trevas entram na terra? Lucifer committed offense. Lucifer é, foi o responsável. And God cast him down. Ele se opôs a Deus e Deus o lançou fora. When he came down, e quando ele caiu, he said to God, ele disse a Deus, He said, "You'll be there. Você vai estar aí em cima. Me, 
you. I will take over this world. Eu vou tomar esse mundo aqui. He spread his wings. Ele espalhou as suas asas. He covered the whole earth with darkness. Ele, ele cobriu toda a face da terra Everything com trevas. Everything that God created. Tudo que Deus criou. Satan spread his wings. Satanás espa, espalhou e espalhou as suas asas. You will not grow again. E disse, vocês não vão crescer. I will spoil it. Eu vou explorar a terra. I will destroy it. Eu vou destruir a terra. But listen to verse 3. Mas olha o verso 3. Aleluia. Aleluia. And God said, Disse Deus, Let there be light. Haja luz. God said, Deus disse. 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 God did not keep quiet when he saw darkness. Deus não ficou calado quando ele viu as trevas. God, Deus said, disse. God, Deus. Apamaha. God, Deus. God, Deus. God, Deus. God said, Deus disse. Let there be light. Haja luz. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Alguém diga hallelujah. Let there be light. Haja luz. God did not look for touch light. He didn't look for battery. Deus não procurou bateria para dar luz. I say. Ele não procurou uma, uma lanterna para dar luz. Oh, aleluia. No. No. He said, "Darkness." Ele diz, trevas. What are you doing here? O que você está fazendo aqui? Darkness. Trevas. What are you doing? O que você está fazendo? Give way. Saia. Darkness. Trevas. Give way. Saia. Darkness. Trevas. Give way. Saia. Everybody say that. Darkness. Todo mundo diga isso. Trevas. Give way. Saia. Darkness, trevas, give way, saia. Let there be light. Haja luz. Stand to your feet. Fique em pé. Say loud. E, say it loud. E diga alto. Darkness, trevas, give way, saia. Darkness, trevas, give way, saia. Try two more times. Darkness, duas vezes mais. Trevas, give saia. way, saia. Trevas, saia. Aleluia. Aleluia. When there's darkness in your life, don't borrow touch light. Quando a, as trevas entrarem na sua vida, não pegue uma lanterna emprestada. Say it again. When darkness come to your life, don't go and borrow touch light. Quando as trevas entrarem na sua vida, não vai procurar emprestado uma lanterna. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. You, you, you must say. Você precisa dizer. Darkness. Trevas. What are you looking for? O que, que você está procurando? What do you want? O que, que você quer? Why are you here? Por que, que você está aqui? Give way. Saia. Give way. Saia. Give way. Saia. Give way. Saia. Darkness. Trevas. Get out! Saia! Darkness! Trevas! Get out! Saia! The same thing. Esse, esse vazio. If sickness enter your body. Se a enfermidade entrar na sua vida, no seu corpo. Before you call for doctors. Antes de chamar o médico. Doctor. Doutor. <laughs> Say to sickness. What are you doing? Diga a enfermidade. O que, que você está fazendo? This is God's property. Esse aqui é a propriedade de Deus, esse corpo é a propriedade de Deus. What, 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 what are you doing? 
What are you doing? O que, que você está fazendo? Darkness. Trevas. Who sent you here? Quem te mandou aqui? What did you come to do? O que, que você veio fazer? Get out. Saia. Come out. Saia. In the name of Jesus. No nome de Jesus. Come out. Saia. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. God did not say, where is the pastor? Deus nunca disse, cadê o pastor? Where pastor? Cadê o pastor? Hey, where is doctor? Onde é que está o doutor, o médico? Where is the engineer? Onde é que está o engenheiro? Where is electricity company? Onde é que está a companhia de eletricidade? God didn't say that. Deus não disse isso. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. Let there be light. Haja luz. Let there be light. Haja luz. Everybody say that. Todo Let mundo diga isso. there be light. Haja luz. Let there be light. Haja luz. Now, agora, why did God not look for engineer? Por que que Deus não procurou engenheiros? Why did God not look for doctor? Por que que Deus não procurou os médicos? If God look for engineer, if God look for doctor, God will become number two. Se Deus tiver, procurasse um médico ou um engenheiro, ele passaria a ser número dois. He doesn't want to be number two. E ele não quer ser número dois. God is number one. Deus é o número um. God is number one. Deus é número um. God is number one. Deus é número um. So God said. Então Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. Everybody say that. Todo God repita. said. Deus disse. Let there be light. Haja luz. Absolute. Yes. Good. So what was what was God saying? O que que Deus então estava dizendo? God was saying, "Light, where are you?" Deus estava dizendo, "Luz, aonde está você?" Light, where are you? Luz, aonde você está? Light, where are you? Luz, aonde você está? Listen to this everybody. Ouçam aí todos. God said. Deus disse. Na Any time, qualquer ocasião, you want a change. Que você quer uma mudança. Pastor, listen to this very well. Pastores, ouçam isso atentamente. Any time you need a change, qualquer momento que você precisar de uma mudança, make a change. Faça uma mudança. Don't wait for things to change themselves. Não espere que as coisas se mudem a si próprias. Don't think darkness will run when you keep quiet. Não espere que as trevas saiam se você ficar quieto. Darkness will... You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers' pictures, 
click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Não vão fugir se você ficar assim. But when you open your mouth, Mas quando você abrir a sua boca and say to darkness, e dizer às trevas, o que, que você está fazendo aqui? How did you come? Como é que você veio? Why are you here? Por que, que você está aqui? Get out. Saia! Move! Mova! Go! Vá! Then darkness will go. Então as trevas irão embora. I want to tell you a story. Eu quero contar para vocês uma história. Some years ago, uns anos atrás, my wife and I, minha esposa e eu, we built a new house. Nós construímos uma nova casa. The people in that area, as pessoas que moravam na vizinhança, we are the first pastor to go to that area. Nós éramos os primeiros pastores a irem para aquela Everybody vizinhança. Everybody in that area, big government officials. A, ma a, a maioria das pessoas que moravam ali eram funcionários, altos funcionários públicos. Governors. Eram governadores, Ministers. ministros. No poor people there. Não tinha gente pobre ali não. God sent us there. E Deus nos mandou lá. We built a beautiful house. E nós construímos uma casa muito bonita. And every time we are going to church, e toda vez que nós estávamos indo para a igreja, one man before our house have a very big German dog. E um homem que morava do nosso, como vizinho nosso, ele tinha um, um cachorro alemão. Big. Pastor alemão, grande. When we are going to church, e quando nós estávamos indo para a igreja, and the dog hear the sound of our car, e o cachorro pastor alemão ouvia o barulho do nosso carro, he will come out, ele saía, he will stretch the leg, ele esticava a perna. What? E dava um grito. Oh, what? Oh. My wife will say. Lock, lock the car, quick, quick, quick. E a minha esposa dizia, vamos trancar o carro, rápido, rápido. We will lock the car. Então nós trancávamos We o carro. Roll the glass. E nós suspendíamos o vidro we do carro. Speed. E nós corríamos. We run, we pass. Nós íamos embora. When we are coming back, Mas quando nós estávamos voltando, few years before that house, alguns metros antes daquele jardim, my wife say, Don't forget the dog is there. não esqueça, a minha esposa dizia, não esqueça que o cachorro está lá, so, dentro do carro. Why am I running? Por que, que eu estou correndo? And the Holy Spirit said today. E o Espírito Santo disse, oh, teach the dog lesson. Ensine a, a lição do cachorro. So I said, okay. E eu disse, ok. I didn't tell my wife. Eu não falei para minha esposa. When, when we were coming. E quando nós estávamos chegando de volta. Holy Spirit said. O Espírito Santo me disse. Teach him lesson. Ensine a ele uma lição. Next time. A próxima vez. He will not pursue you. Ele não vai correr atrás de você. So I said, okay. Eu falei, então tá bom. I got ready. Eu fiquei pronto. I locked my car. Eu travei as portas do meu carro. When we got there, e quando nós chegamos lá, the dog saw us. O, dia, o, o cachorro nos he viu. Was very hungry. Ele estava com muita fome. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. E ele fez, whoa, 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 whoa. I began to run. E eu comecei a correr. And when I ran, e quando eu corria, the Holy Spirit said, break. E o Espírito Santo disse, pare. Break. Pare. Run. I hold my brake. Então eu apertei o pé no freio. The dog. The dog. Então o cachorro. He knocked the head. Ele bateu a cabeça. To the bonnet of the car. Na na traseira do carro. Pau. And his jaw então, broke. E a, a, a mandíbula dele quebrou. And blood began to go out. E o sangue começou a escorrer. And the dog. Blood, blood. E começou sangue a sair. Começou a sair sangue da boca dele. So, então, the dog turned. O cachorro virou. He began to run back. E começou a correr de volta. He was wounded. Ele estava ferido. So Holy Spirit told me. Então o Espírito Santo me disse. If devil follow you. Se o diabo estiver atrás de você. Hold your brake. Pise o freio. Hold your brake. Pise o freio. Hold your brake. Pise o freio. 
and the devil will run back. E o diabo da batalha vai voltar para trás. God doesn't need help. Deus não precisa de ajuda. God said. Deus disse. Now the Bible says the spirit of God moved. A Bíblia diz que o espírito de Deus moveu. The spirit of God moved. O espírito de Deus moveu. The spirit of God moved. O espírito de Deus moveu. How do we beat darkness? Como nós derrotamos as trevas? How? Go ahead. Go ahead. Como nós derrotamos as trevas? How can we stop darkness? Como nós podemos parar as trevas? How can we stop emptiness? Como nós podemos acabar com o vazio? Look at what the Bible says. Olhe o que a Bíblia diz. God said. Deus disse. God said. Deus disse. If you want a change, se você quer uma mudança, you need two things. Você precisa de duas coisas. You need power to say. Você precisa poder para dizer. And you need the spirit to do it. E você precisa do espírito para fazer por você. This is very very important. Isso é muito muito importante. You need the power to say it. Você precisa do poder de falar. God said. Deus disse. You need God inside you. Você precisa Deus dentro de você. And that God must be big enough. E aquele Deus precisa Deus precisa ser grande o suficiente. To be able to say. Para ser capaz de dizer. God said. Deus disse. The Bible say. A Bíblia diz. The spirit of God moved. O espírito de Deus movia. The spirit of God moved. O espírito de Deus pairava. When the spirit moved, quando o espírito pairava, quando o espírito movia. That is what bring the change. É isso que traz mudança, é quando o espírito move. So many 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 nations. Muitas 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 nações. Want to know how to have revival. Como ter, querem saber como ter avivamento. Well, in the first place, what Bem, is revival? Bem, em primeiro lugar, o que é avivamento? Revival is to bring back to life what is dead. Reavivamento é trazer de volta à vida aquilo que está morto. What is revival? O que é reavivamento? Revival, revival is restoration. São what God did before. O que Deus fez antes? Let God do it again. Deixe que Deus faça de novo. That is revival. Isso é reavivamento. What is revival? O que que é reavivamento? The power of the Holy Spirit. É o poder do Espírito Santo. The anointing of God. É a unção de Deus. The power of God. É o poder de Deus. That is revival. Isso é reavivamento. Re revival is not Reavivamento não é fazer isso. No, that's not revival. Não, isso não é reavivamento. Revival is not uh, no, Reavivamento not, também não é isso. That's not revival. Isso não é reavivamento. No. No. Não. Revival is more than that. Reavivamento é muito mais do que Now, isso. this guitar fell. Essa, esse violão caiu. This guitar has fallen. Esse violão caiu. It was standing. Estava em pé. It fell. Caiu. There, there's no power in falling. Não há nenhum poder em cair. Now, if you want power, se você quer poder, you put the light on. Você liga a luz. You put, you give it power. E você dá energia a a violão. Then you violão. play it. E aí você toca. Power and playing is power. Então você vê o poder no tocar. Falling. Not boom. Não cair. No. No, that is not revival. Não, isso não é reavivamento. Falling is falling. Cair é cair. Revival is power and playing. Então o reavivamento é é tocar. If if se Brazil needs power, se Brasil precisa de poder, she doesn't need to fall. Não é preciso cair. Anybody on the floor cannot help anybody standing. É ninguém que está no chão pode ajudar alguém que está em pé. All right. Now. now. <laughs> now, I'm sick. Pray for me. Eu estou enfermo. Agora eu peço para ele que tá deitado orar por mim. Pray for me. 
Ore por mim. I need healing. Eu preciso de cura. Pray for me. Put hand on my head. Coloque a mão na minha cabeça, eu preciso de cura. Put hand on my head. Coloque a mão na minha cabeça, eu preciso de cura. Can his hand reach here? Será que a mão dele pode alcançar a minha testa? No. Everybody say no. Todo mundo diga não. No. Why? Por quê? Why? Por quê? He's on the floor. Porque ele está no chão. Anybody on the floor cannot help anybody standing. Ninguém que está deitado no chão pode ajudar alguém que está em pé. But I'm standing. Mas eu estou em pé. I can help him. E eu posso ajudá-lo. I can say this. Eu posso dizer isso. In Jesus name. No nome de Jesus. Be healed. Ser curado. In Jesus name. Em nome de Jesus. Rise up. Levante-se. Amen. Amém. Aleluia. Revival is not falling. E avivamento não é cair. Revival is power. E avivamento é poder. Revival is anointing. E avivamento é unção. Revival is spirit. E avivamento é o espírito. Uh, uh, if you on the floor. Se você está no, no, no chão, you cannot help anybody standing. Você não pode ajudar ninguém que está em pé. The same thing. Essa, esse vazio. If you have no power, se você não tem poder, you can't pick anybody up. Você não pode levantar ninguém. So God said, darkness. Então Deus disse, trevas. You are on the floor. Você está no chão. Move from the way. Saia do caminho. Now the Bible says the spirit moved. Mas a Bíblia diz que o espírito pairava, o espírito That is movia. why Brazilian Christians need the spirit. É por isso que os cristãos de Brasília precisam do espírito. If the spirit espírito, come and move, se o espírito vier e mover, every darkness qualquer treva in the government no governo every darkness qualquer treva in the economy na economia every darkness qualquer treva in society na sociedade the church will stand que tentar ficar em pé stand with power tentar ficar em pé com stand poder. with spirit vai vai ficar em Then pé the church espírito. will say e a igreja então vai dizer vudu vudu devil Diabo, in the name of Jesus, no nome de Jesus, move, saia, go, vai embora, amém, amém, aleluia, aleluia. But if the church is on the floor, mas se a igreja está no chão, the government on the floor, o governo está no chão, economy on the floor, a economia está no chão, business on the floor, os negócios estão no chão, the church on the floor, a igreja está no chão, you cannot help. Você não pode ajudar. But if you stand, mas se você fica em pé and have the spirit, e tem o Espírito and the spirit move, e o Espírito move 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 then you can say, então você pode dizer there be light. haja luz aleluia aleluia Two things. Duas coisas. Number one. Número um. We must look for the Holy Spirit power. Nós precisamos buscar o poder do Espírito Santo. What I mean? O que que eu quero dizer? It's not. That's not. That is small. Poder não é. Blá 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 blá. Isso é, mas é pequeno. That's not all. Isso não é tudo. It must be here. Precisa estar aqui. Out of your belly. Precisa estar aqui dentro do seu ventre. Out of your belly. Bem aqui no seu ventre. Shall flow. Irá fluir no seu Rivers interior. Irá fluir rios de água viva. So when you say, então quando você disser, anda catoro e anda larama. That's power. Aí há poder. Not a... E não fazendo assim. <risos> <laughs> no. 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 God said. Deus disse. Power. Poder. Move. Mova. Power. Poder. Move. Mova. Then God said. Deus disse. He put my boss in labor. Hanta katoro enda la. Sala la la ma ba. Hanta katoro enda la. Jila ba ha ka. Jabo. Yema da ba ta. Tolobo. Mubabo ha ki ki. Hanta katoro enda la. And the spirit moved. E o espírito então moveu. And God said. E Deus disse. Let there be light. Que haja luz. And the Bible says. E a Bíblia diz. There was light. Que houve luz. 
There was light. E houve luz. There was light. E houve luz. There was light. E houve luz. We must. Nós precisamos. Learn. Learn. Emprestar. How? To receive. Aprender, nós precisamos aprender a como receber Holy Spirit power. o poder do Espírito Santo. We must learn nós precisamos aprender how to speak. como falar. We must learn nós precisamos aprender how to use como usar the Spirit of God o Espírito de Deus to move. para mover In our homes. Na, nos nossos lares, In our ministry. nos nossos ministérios, In our job. nos nossos trabalhos, In the government. no governo. In every area, em qualquer área, the Spirit of God will begin to move. O Espírito de Deus vai começar a mover. In my country, no meu país, Nigeria, Nigeria, few years ago, alguns anos atrás, we had the church. Nós tínhamos uma igreja. No power, não havia poder. No spirit, não havia espírito. No vision, não havia visão. No anointing, não havia unção. We were small. Nós éramos pequenos. Government look at us. O governo olhava para nós. Government said to me. O governo dizia para mim. Who, is, who are you? Quem é você? What's your name? Qual é o seu nome? Me. Falava para mim. I'm the head of the I'm the I'm the senior pastor. Eu dizia, eu sou o pastor principal da igreja. Jesus is the head of the church. Jesus é o cabeça da igreja. But Jesus was not in our church. Mas Jesus não estava na nossa igreja. He was in heaven. Ele estava no céu. And I, I am the I'm the ambassador of Jesus on earth. Eu era o embaixador de Jesus na terra. I have no power. Mas eu não tinha poder. Jesus is not there. Jesus não estava lá. So governor asks. Então o governador perguntou para mim. Who is he? Quem é ele? This I say I am Benson Idahosa. Eu sou Benson Idahosa. Oh, they say, what do you do? E ele perguntou, o que, que você say, faz? I'm a preacher. Eu sou um pregador. I'm evangelist. Eu sou evangelista. I'm general of Asia. General of Asia. Eu sou um general. Oh, police say, okay, move, 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 move. E ele dizia, então sai, sai, sai. Police say, move, quick, quick. A polícia dizia, sai, sai. Governor, governor is coming. Governor está che... O governador está chegando. Governor saia do caminho, coming. saia do caminho. Preacher, move. Pregador, saia, move, saia, move. pregador, preacher, saia. Move. Saia, pregador, saia. I will run. Eu corria. I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about anointed tube. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.
Então eu recebi o Espírito Santo. Baptism. O batismo. I receive power. E eu recebi poder. I receive anointing. E eu recebi a unção. Now. E agora? Now. Agora? Now. Agora? Now. Agora? President say, I know him. Agora o, o governador diz, eu conheço ele. Governor say, I know him. O governador diz, eu conheço ele. Now my wife and I, we send for governor and president any day to come and say hello to us. E agora eu e a minha esposa podemos é, falar com o governador e presidente em qualquer momento. Agora os policiais quando me veem a mim e a minha esposa, eles fazem assim, batem continência. No more. Eles não dizem mais, sai, sai da frente, sai do caminho. Governor see me now. O governador me vê agora. If, if the governor see... Se o governador está sentado. And the governor sit down. O governador está sentado. Then, governor's admis, uh, assistant say. E o assessor do governador. Archbishop Idahosa. Diz. Bispo Idahosa. Is coming. Está vindo aí. Get up. Oh. 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 How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Bless you. Deus te abençoe. Governor, what's your name? Governador, qual é o seu nome? What's your name? Fábio Ferreira Batista. Fábio. Oh, good, good, good. You know me? Você me conhece? You know me? Sim, conheço. What's my name? É, qual é o meu nome? É Bishop Ira Rocha. Thank you, thank you. Obrigado. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Now, okay. Okay. I'll see you next time. Eu vejo a próxima oportunidade. Bye bye. Tchau, tchau. Because of the Holy Spirit. Por causa do Espírito Santo. Amen. 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 E amen. If you don't have Holy Spirit, se você não tem o Espírito Santo, you don't have power. Você não tem poder. Bem pequeno. Police say. O policial diz. Governor is coming. O governador está chegando. Everybody stand up. Todo mundo fica em pé. You jump. E você pula da cadeira. Yes, sir. Sim, senhor. But now, Mas agora, if governor is coming, se o governador está chegando, I sit down. eu me sento. Governor coming, o governador chega. Bom you? dia, senhor. Como vai você? Nice to see you. Muito, eu estou feliz em te ver. You are welcome. Você é bem-vindo. Me, eu, son of big governor. Filho do grande governador. Aleluia. Aleluia. Amém. Amém. The foundation we are laying today. Esse fundamento que nós estamos estabelecendo hoje. Brazil need more than jumping and clapping. Que o Brasil precisa mais do que palmas e danças. Brazil needs spirit. O Brasil precisa do espírito. Brazil need power. O Brasil precisa de poder. Brazil need anointing. O Brasil precisa de unção. And Brazil Christian need to learn how to talk. E os crentes no Brasil precisam aprender a falar, a declarar. So that when darkness come, então, quando as trevas chegarem, Brazil, stand up. os cristãos brasileiros irão se levantar e dirão: trevas, Let there be light. haja luz, Problem. problema, Get out. saia, Sickness. doença, Go. saia, Poverty. pobreza, Leave. Saia. In the name of Jesus. No nome de Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must learn. Nós precisamos aprender. Number one. Número um. How to let the spirit move. Nós precisamos aprender 
como o espírito move move in society mover na sociedade move in government mover na área de governo move in business mover na área empresarial move in the church mover na igreja move everywhere mover em todas as partes the spirit of god must move o espírito de deus precisa mover i know small about brazil eu sei muito pouco sobre o brasil but i know enough that there are so many 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 sp different spirits in brazil mas eu eu sei o suficiente para entender para ter o discernimento que existem muitos muitos espíritos diferentes brazilian spirit espíritos brasileiros portuguese spirit espírito português african spirit espíritos africanos spanish spirit espíritos espanhóis american spirit espíritos americanos they are here eles estão aqui but there's one power mas há um poder the church need one power que a igreja precisa the power of the holy spirit é o poder do espírito santo in brazil e o brasil to say para dizer let all of the spirit shut up que todo todos os demônios cale a boca Voodoo spirit, shut up. Que todo espírito de vidu cale a boca. Portuguese spirit, shut up. Que todos os portugueses, espíritos portugueses calem a boca. Demon spirit, shut up. Espíritos demoníacos calem a boca. Spanish spirit, shut up. Espíritos espanhóis calem a boca. Voodoo, shut up. Vudu, cale a boca. Let there be light. Que haja luz. 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 In the name of Jesus. No nome de Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we are here. É por isso que nós estamos aqui. So we can learn number one. Então eu posso estabelecer o número dois. So allow the spirit. Nós precisamos aprender a deixar que o espírito to move. Mova. Number two. Número dois. How to say? Nós precisamos aprender como dizer. Listen to this. Ouça isso. It doesn't matter how dark and how thick the darkness. Não importa quão profunda seja a treva. When the spirit move, quando o espírito move, darkness will leave. As trevas irão embora. Now listen to this. Agora escutem isso. If God use the spirit, se Deus usa o espírito, because the Bible says, and the spirit of God move. E a Bíblia, porque a Bíblia diz que o espírito pairava, o espírito movia. That means the power that God used is in the spirit. Isso significa que o poder que Deus usa está no Espírito. John chapter 4, verse 4, God is a spirit. João 4, 4 diz que Deus é o Espírito. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. E aqueles que querem adorá-lo devem adorá-lo em espírito e em verdade. The Spirit of God move. O Espírito de Deus move. If you want to have power, se você quer ter poder, you need the Spirit of God. Você precisa do Espírito de Deus. When the Spirit of God move, quando o Espírito de Deus move, then you can be able to say. Então você será capaz de dizer. When the Spirit of God move, quando o Espírito de Deus move. Power então você tem poder to say, para dizer let there be light. que haja luz. Therefore, number one, isso é o número um. Receive the genuine Holy Spirit. Receba o genuíno, o autêntico Espírito Santo. Don't receive small spirit. Não receba pequenos espíritos. Receive the Spirit of God. Receba o Espírito de Deus. Because you are created in the image and likeness of God. Porque você foi criado à imagem e semelhança de Deus. So that when you stand up, então quando você ficar em pé, Jesus is inside you. Se Jesus está dentro de você, and Jesus is in you. Jesus está em você. And you know that you are made like Jesus. E você sabe que você foi criado à imagem de Deus. Then you can stand up. Então você pode ficar em pé and say, e dizer, I see. Eu vejo darkness. Eu vejo as trevas. I see. Eu vejo emptiness. O vazio. Then I can say. Então eu posso dizer. Let there be light. Haja luz. Those are the two things I want to start with in Brazil. 
Duas coisas que eu quero começar. Receive the Holy Ghost with power. Receba o Espírito Santo com poder. Then use the Holy Ghost and power. E use o Espírito Santo e o poder. You begin to say to sicknesses. Você vai começar a falar para enfermidades. You begin to say to powers. Você vai começar a dizer para poderes. You begin to say to darkness. Você vai começar a dizer para declarar para trevas. What do you want? O que que você quer? Out. Saia. Out. Saia. Out. Saia. Out. Saia. Everybody see you. Todo mundo vai ver você. Ele vai dizer aquele homem. Aquele homem. Ele é poderoso. Ele tem espírito. Poder. Grande. Aquele homem. Está ungido. Ele tem o Espírito de Deus. Aquele homem. Então você. Haja luz. Por quê? Porque você tem confiança. Que Jesus. Está dentro de você. Jesus. Está dentro de mim. Jesus, Jesus is in my mouth. está na minha boca. What I bind on earth, aquilo que eu desligo na terra, is bound in heaven. É desligado no céu. What I lose on earth, o que eu ligo na terra, is loose in heaven. É ligado no céu. From this morning, nessa a partir desta manhã, I want you, eu quero que vocês, to learn two things. Aprendam duas coisas. Number one, número um, you need the spirit. Vocês precisam do Espírito de Deus. Número dois. You need to learn how to talk. Vocês precisam aprender a como falar. When the spirit move, e o Espírito move. Then you talk. Então você fala. Then power em poder. We come. O poder virá. On Brazil. Na, o poder virá. Lift up your hands. Levante as suas mãos. Raise your hands. Levante as suas mãos. Raise your hands. Levante suas mãos. Raise your hands. Levante suas mãos. Raise your hands. Levante suas mãos. Power is coming upon your hands. O poder está vindo sobre as suas mãos. Power is coming upon your hands. O poder está sendo derramado. Power is coming upon your hands. O poder está sendo derramado. Power is coming upon your hands. O poder está sendo derramado. You will receive anointing. Você vai receber poder. In the name of Jesus. No nome de Jesus Cristo. I command. Eu ordeno. The spirit. Que o espírito. Of the Holy Ghost. Que o espírito. Upon these hands. Venha sobre essas mãos. Upon your mouth. Seja derramado sobre as suas mãos. Upon your heart. Sobre os seus corações. Upon your belly. Sobre o seu interior. Receive. Receba. In Jesus' name. Em nome de Jesus. Receive power. Receba poder. Receive power. Receba poder. In the name of Jesus. No nome Christ. de Jesus Cristo. Receive power Receba now. Receba poder agora. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Obrigado, Senhor. Thank you, Lord. Obrigado, Senhor. Thank you, Lord. Obrigado, Senhor. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Abra sua boca e comece a agradecer Open your mouth and thank God. Comece a agradecer. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Abra sua boca e comece a agradecer. Open your mouth and thank God. Abra sua boca e comece a agradecer. Come on, come on. Come on. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com.
Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idausa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Idausa is a man that believe with God all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son we see a father who he trusts that is faithful. Whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was a Dowser's level of faith, beyond mass uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual a person, yet he was so human in nature. A man who reached out to everyone, the high, and the law in society. A man who rubs shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. Uh, it, it's a blessing. And it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idahosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyudepo. I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And the Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's Chief Igbinidion, had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told me, 
in the preach, he said, this is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. This must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edipo came to Church of God Mission, Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached. It was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting, uh, moving on from one project to another. And often when he started a new project, we whites, we Oibos would say, why is he doing that? We couldn't see the vision at all. We thought, hmm, this is very funny. But then sometime later we would realize, oh yes, okay, I see why he's done that now. And I was a Muslim that I gave my life to Christ. In Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that by the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop, my first time of meeting the Archbishop in Dahosa of Church of God Mission International. What an awesome privilege it was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Onicha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the uh, advanced team, to go and paste posters all over Odicha. And we went to put posters all over Odicha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform. And, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. And we stood there and the whole crusade was an eye-opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come. So uh, we went to Nigeria to begin. Uh, my class, Actually, I went there in 79. My class started in 1980. And uh, we went through the Bible training, and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools. He started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex. He started Benson Hose university all those and well he's he's a man we can't we can't forget he was a great example to us and i thank god it's particularly good for us whites british because in britain uh people are rather skeptical these days You'll not find many people who are really born again Christians. Um, people of faith are few in Britain, but if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, 
We traveled to Washington for Jesus. John Geminis went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a curtain, because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are and it's raining cats and dogs, what do you want us to do? And when I looked through the wood, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would lose, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Abishoy Dausa. We say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft, lifted his I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me and you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back up. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minutes time, the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we were under, we have lost our way. We would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos. It was still raining. Now this is where the testimony is. Mama, I was there. You can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid. Can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? <laughs> I was scared. I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold-plated aircraft. Chief Benedion, he called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar and we went by air to Benin. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here. There won't be any such meeting. The chief priest then was summoned. His name, Chief Ebohon, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, Yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one on one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believe in venturing where others fear to venture. He was a trailblazer 
I remember those days. For example, this television ministry that's becoming uh, anything today, it also started it in 1974-75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign, wonder, anointing, and his boldness. I was. I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Serrillo in 2010, and just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, "Oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors. It happens in the third world." Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me the aztecs and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits, and I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take off the spirit that is upon you, and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took off that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop in Dahosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. Idahosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, Idahosa lives. Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle with some trucks going from street to street, and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And one of these days he was riding past and people were crying in my house. <laughs> and he just stopped, brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, with it through the crowd. And he came and I said, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. <laughs> He said, ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. Till this time, it was about 4 o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I said, hey, please, I beg you, 
don't don't make a mockery of your God. He said, no, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that, uh, uh, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents, to tread upon scorpions, and to raise the dead. And I said, listen, don't make a mockery of yourself. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal that sin. Raise the dead. I said what? Am I going to like God? Benson, you mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? What you say I can do it? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hey. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was she. She was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, "Listen, this baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The fa why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate." And he said, oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, how? How are you going to do it? And he said, okay, go out if you don't want to see, see me do it. But, uh, you know, as a stubborn child, then I stood, at the, I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Early in the morning when I rise. Child. Be healed. I will bring to you an offering. After he prayed, he asked me, What is the name of the child? I send it to your throne. What's the girl name? I will send it to the I said, It's in Warata. I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world know about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, conversion hold me. So I, I, I died. When I died, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. About two hours, a bit three hours later, my father come, my late Benson the outside. He said, what is happening? They told him that her daughter, their daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the, in the ordinary native daughter tried, they can't raise her back to life. He said, where is her now? He said, she swam in there. He said, he asked my father the question. He said, daddy, do you believe that the God I serve can raise him come back to life. My father said yes. So he said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where yeah, they, they lie me down. So carry me, they were praying with some of members. As they pray, the God that answered by fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living so today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up! I was 
just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about 9 o'clock sneezed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I rather go back to me after a year and three months in the womb. So my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Many said maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be thy glory, when they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Do you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. with him to the mother. He said, please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, what is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power. Super power. Then I wasn't a child of God. My mother used to serve, um, she was a princess of Olokun, Shango, and all that. And I said, mm, the, the, the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graven images that had no power. So the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer. But I just knelt and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayers, there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? You said the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I didn't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. He said, ah, you have done it. And I knelt down, he prayed, and I, and I said the, the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father Benson Dalsa is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, there was wonder, there, were, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today and my life. I have about eight children, two guests, and two boys and six guests. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about 10 grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him. Amen. 
He no mega jebe, he no mega ta, he jesu megu wese, he no mega ta gu wese. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. 
and I would like you to know that he was also my spiritual father. Please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people. Let this video go viral. Remain blessed. Hello, this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa, his early Christian ministry testimony. As a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard session, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. The corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938, to a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on a farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and United States while working in Bata Shoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Aquas on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young, Bens young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akbar's small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a night vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following, said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. He prayed through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing, more people confess Christ as their savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself, and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria, established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastored churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he, also, he, he was also President of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, President of Idaosa World Outreach, and President of Faith Medical Center. 
He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of Bishop, or Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robert uh, University in Oklahoma. It also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981 from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a Doctor of Law degree from Ora Robert University in March 1984. He also received another degree. He also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife, Margaret Idaosa, were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supintax. So winning was Idaosa primary consign with a motto Evangelism, our Supintax. He walked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries, all, 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa? According to Mrs. Gordon Frada, Lisser, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA. I know of no young black in all Africa who is preaching, who is reaching million as Benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in, in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast, in his Bible school, training eager students from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecast. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrate he is especially core of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from, his, from this mighty leader of God's people said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sit over 10,000 in 1981, his Bible school attract upper class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises 
and that God's miracle provision applies to Africans as well as to Americans. He believed that Africa has a part in God's work and Africa will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their des have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. It also rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion whose ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people, both in the gospel ministry and other fate of human endeavors. And he applied the principles he learned, he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry. He was very energetic, hardworking. One of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Dowser. He was committed and consistent, and he had confidence in himself he was very humble and full of godly wisdom have bishop bensi idaosa was said to be the leader of over seven million jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the lord in february 1998 now i'm going to talk about his early ministry again as a youth, he got converted to Christianity by a certain pastor Akbar and joined the flagging congregation as one of the first members. He was very active and converted many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable quotes, including, My God is not a poor God. Your attitude determines your, your attitude determines your attitude. It is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L.S. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Ryan Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, World of Faith, Group of School, Bensi Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E.F.B. Uh, Idaosa, his wife, Margaret 
uh, Idaosa is the current Archbishop of the church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video to bless all the people and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contact get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.